Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. Apps number one selling Apple product in quantity of units has been the Apple TV. We sell thousands of Apple TV. And that has a lot to do with the fact that we're also a store that sells lots of TVs and you know that's our business. But the Apple TV box has been so popular that we're really excited to see this new version come out. The new Siri remote control and the new ability for the App Store is fantastic. But what's on the inside? First of all, let's talk about our ports. We got a big change on the back of the Apple TV. We are missing an analog audio output. A lot of people, a lot of our customers that have, you know, special receivers and they have universal remote controls and we program that when we go out and do that in our custom install team, you know, they had to run the audio out separate from the HDMI connection on the previous generation. And even the previous generation, that the big difference from that one was it lost the analog audio. So now we lost both of those outputs and all we have is HDMI. So you've got an HDMI out to your TV. Uh, there's many ways around it. There's a new method of utilizing AirPlay, but that's one big loss here. A uh, lot of good stuff though. The processor is a big deal. It has jumped to an A8 processor. So what does that mean? And going from an A5 to an A8, it's like an iPhone 4S has jumped to an iPhone 6. That's how much more power is inside the new Apple TV. And that's going to drive the new TV OS as well as that App Store and your ability to play games and really tap into a whole new variety of content. So let's get a little hands on. You know, that's the boring stuff. Let's show you a little bit more how this works. All right, so here we have our new interface. And Apple has just been the best at the most fluid, best looking interface. And their new TV OS is really just kind of an upgrade to what they've done in the past. So if I slide left and right on my Siri remote, I can go up. Look at the, the 3D little popping that it's showing as I slide left to right. Kind of a, a real nice interface, just like what we'd expect from Apple. All right, let's see. There's a bunch of stuff to talk about. I'm just going to jump in the settings real quick. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that that's all we've got. Uh, you're missing all the apps. Uh, we're used to uh, getting an Apple TV, plugging it in, having tons of apps, and then Apple just keep feeding more and more apps. Well, now you're going to have to go to the App Store, but we're going to hold off. Let me show you settings. And as you notice, going between these windows, the way it flies back and forth, uh, real graphically pleasing, so to be expected. Uh, general in settings, we're going to start with the ability to get in there and change your, your screensaver. Uh, in my house, my sleep after is set to never because I'm always using my Apple TVs and I don't want any delays. Uh, you'll see some restrictions here if you want to have controls over, you know, who's allowed to download what. If there's a whole family uh, operating the Apple TV, you can go in here and make sure that, you know, rated R stuff is not getting downloaded and things like that. All right, privacy modes. You'll have the ability here to kind of control who gets what information from you. If you don't want to have information sent to Apple, you can go there and change it. Obviously, we're going to want Siri on with the new remote control. Uh, let me jump back. You've got a whole bunch of other things here. We're going to breeze through just so you can see. Accounts, you're going to go in here and I would recommend uh, the main screen is going to get you all this info because you logged in with your account. But make sure you go to home sharing and turn on home sharing. That's going to give you access to all your computers in the house, Mac or PC. As long as they're turned on and iTunes is open, you're going to be able to stream pictures, music, movies from those computers. Audio and video features here. Uh, here's the big deal is audio output. They got rid of the digital optical output, so we can't run a separate audio cable to our receivers. But what we can do is we can go ahead and make an Airport Express plug-in with an analog audio connection right to our receiver, and you'll see listed here other speakers, the location of your Airport Express, and you can basically redirect the audio. Pretty cool way for you to get around that hurdle. Uh, you'll see some other options here with some of your settings, subtitle languages and such. And then you've got a few other things here. AirPlay, uh, leave it on. That means that we can send content from our iOS devices. Uh, remote and devices is a big deal because here I can control the volume of my TV. The remote control has IR for the purpose of controlling TVs. If I hit volume up on my Apple remote control, you know, my Samsung TV is changing its volume. And I did not even program that. So brand new TVs are going to be more automatic. Otherwise, you're going to go and learn the remote features. All right, you can control other, other settings here. Apps, you got network. That's going to be a place to change your wireless network. System's a good thing to take a quick peek at. Uh, sometimes we need to go in there, restart. You'll run software updates. All right, let's get back to the main menu and get into the good stuff. 
the App Store, brand new. This is a big deal for Apple. The developers are busy right now. As I speak, they are building new apps. I'm going to jump in here. So here's a, a quick peek at the current App Store. This will change probably every minute. Um, there's tons of games. There's all sorts of content. Uh, we can go in here and just like you're used to, select a, an application and we can look at more information about it. Uh, looks like we have the ability to see some screenshots and check out the ratings and all sorts of information. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what you're going to do because right out of the gate, I want Netflix. I watch Netflix all the time. So I'm going to select Netflix. I want to click the little cloud install button and now let's see what happens. It's going to connect to your, utilize your Wi-Fi. It looks like it's already done. I'm going to choose open and I'm in the app and it wants me to sign into my account. If I hit the menu button, it's going to take us back. It's going to take us back menu one more time and I'm back at my main screen. There's Netflix. I use Netflix every day. I'm going to tap on my remote hold down. It starts to jiggle. You might be used to this if you are an iPhone user or an iPad user. I'm going to relocate it right there front and center because I'm going to use Netflix all the time. Anyway, that's the way it's going to work for you guys. You're going to go into the App Store and you're just going to go uh, and get what you want this time. So if you don't want some of those apps like your old Apple TV, then you don't need them because they're not pre-installed anymore. You could go ahead and go through the store, find what you already purchased under your account, uh, download content through this system, and fill up your new Apple TV with apps. All right, the new Apple Siri remote control, obviously featuring Siri. Let's put it to the test. Uh, it's really going to be the way you control everything. And this is what Apple's really driving home is it's an amazing way to not just control content, but lots of content. So we can ask Siri pretty much anything here. Uh, let's just go ahead and show you some of the basics. I'm going to tap the button on the remote that looks like a microphone. And I did not hold it down, but it tells me, hold down that button to speak. And if I stay on this screen, it's going to scroll through some fun ideas on how you can control Siri, which really has always been Siri's you know, problem, is that we don't know how to interact with Siri. So you might want to watch some of these examples. But uh, I'm going to give you a, a couple examples that I'm just going to think up of right now. So let's see. Who won the World Series in 1908? All right. It's been a while. Maybe next year, guys. All right. Otherwise... It's a quick way for me to access information. I scrolled up and now it shows me uh, more information. Uh, pretty cool. It looks like MLB.com is responsible for this information with that little logo in the bottom right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press the Siri remote again, but this time I'm going to hold it down and let's try something different. What's the weather like in Abu Dhabi? It's a pretty fast interface. I'm impressed. What movies did Steven Spielberg create? All right, this one here is only showing me a couple things, and it didn't really get me, maybe because I stuttered. Let me try it again. Find movies directed by Steven Spielberg. All right, so this one here uh, jumped into a lot more information real fast. Um, let's say, for example, Indiana Jones. I could ask questions like, who starred in Indiana Jones? Ooh, they want to know which one. Let's go Temple of Doom. And it jumps into all the, the actors and actresses that were inside that movie. Let's, let's choose Harrison Ford. And it jumps right in. It looks like the, uh, uh, a screen that's showing us all sorts of content here. This is probably all from the, uh, app, the Apple uh, iTunes store because we really haven't configured much more than adding Netflix. And I haven't even signed into Netflix. The series is going to do all that. It's going to pull up all that information. Uh, it'll pull up a lot of information, not just that kind of content for video. I could open applications. I could turn on subtitles. Um, I could say stuff like, how are the markets? And it quickly pulls information. It's a very fast operation. So well done, Apple. Really enjoy the way this new Siri remote control operates. One of the coolest features of the new Apple TV is that Siri remote's built-in gyroscope and accelerometer. So that means I could actually use it as a game controller. So when you go into the App Store and download a, a game, you can be just holding this new Siri remote control, tilting it, you know, moving it clockwise, counterclockwise, controlling the vehicles or whatever game you're playing. It's really cool the way that operates. So the new Apple TV, great operating system, voice control, really impressive. And we've got this nice new A8 processor to really drive it all home. 
Uh, well done, Apple. We're very excited. Uh, but there's only one thing is that there's no 4K video support for now. Subscribe to stay current.